was a and double. Now we hear her. She wanted it. And it's the year of Romeo on the LPBT tour. Ball fearless, Kelly. Yes, she does. Janet O'Keefe is going to win this one. That she does what she has to do to win. The year 1982 was truly a year of thrills, as it was the year that Michael Jackson released his album Thriller, which would go on to become the best-selling album of all time. Steven Spielberg's E.T. also phoned home that year and surpassed Star Wars as the highest grossing film in movie history. It was also the year that saw the first compact disc player sold in Japan as well as John Hinckley Jr. being found not guilty by reason of insanity for his assassination attempt of President Ronald Reagan the year prior. And in the world of professional women's bowling, an otherworldly star named Nikki Giannoulias would break 17 records over the course of the season. Giannoulias grew up in Vallejo, California, where her parents owned a bowling center. After graduating high school and being named the Alberta E. Crow Star of Tomorrow, she represented the U.S. in the World Cup, finishing sixth, and then joined the Women's Pro Tour the following season, earning Rookie of the Year honors in 1979. By the start of the 1982 season, she was one of the top bowlers in the world and blasted off to a fast start that year, winning two of the first four events. After runner-up finishes at the Queens and in Houston, the woman who had come to be known as Nikki G took home two more titles in Addison, Illinois and Dallas, Texas, bringing her title haul to four for the season. She would conclude the year with her fourth runner-up finish, which meant she bowled for the title in an amazing eight of the 14 events held in 1982. Giannoulias was named IBMA Bowler of the Year and would ultimately go on to capture 19 PWBA titles during her illustrious career. She was inducted into the PWBA Hall of Fame in 1996 and also the USBC Hall of Fame the following year. But it was her out of this world 1982 that landed her on our list with the 15th greatest season in PWBA history.